Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the book of Judges, chapter 17. And there was a man of Mount Ephraim whose name was Micah. And he said unto his mother, The eleven hundred shekels of silver that were taken from thee, about which thou cur cursedest, and spakest of also in mine ears. Behold, the silver was with me, I took it. And his mother said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my son. And when he had restored the eleven hundred shekels of silver to his mother, his mother said, I had wholly dedicated the silver unto the Lord from my hand for my son, to make a graven image and a molten image. Now therefore I will restore it unto thee. Yet he restored the money unto his mother, and his mother took two hundred shekels of silver, and gave them to the founder, who made thereof a graven image and a molten image, and they were in the house of Micah. And the man Micah had an house of gods, and made an ephod, and teraphim, and consecrated one of his sons, who became a priest. In those days there was no king in Israel, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And there was a young man out of Bethlehem, Judah, of the family of Judah, who was a Levite, and he sojourned there. And the man departed out of the city from Bethlehem, Judah, to sojourn where he could find a place. And he came to Mount Ephraim, to the house of Micah, as he journeyed. And Micah said unto him, Whence comest thou? And he said unto him, I am a Levite of Bethlehem, Judah, and I go to sojourn where I may find a place. And Micah said unto him, Dwell with me, and be unto me a father and a priest, and I will give thee ten shekels of silver by the year, and a suit of apparel, and thy victuals. So the Levite went in. And the Levite was content to dwell with the man, and the young man was, young man was unto him as one of his sons. And Micah consecrated the Levite, and the young man became his priest, and was in the house of Micah. Then said Micah, Now know I that the Lord will do me some good, will do me good, seeing I have a Levite to my priest. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So interesting start to this chapter. I can't say I have too much to say other than the understanding is, of course, that one of Micah's son is consecrated as a priest and then a Levite uh, sojourns there and then Micah says now he has a Levite to his priest. So we'll see what Micah does from the combination of his son being a priest and a, a Levite who has joined his uh, cause. And that's it for me there. I don't want to offer any more analysis. Rather, I want to read a chapter from the Bible. Let us go ahead and read John chapter 3. One of the most famous, the most famous verse in the Bible, of course, John three sixteen. Let's enjoy. Chapter John, the Gospel according to Saint John, chapter three. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do the, these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of Lord Naren White, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of Lord Naren White is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of Lord Naren White. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we must speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. 
If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in, in heaven. And as, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the only begotten Son of in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon near to Salim, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing, except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom which standeth and heareth rejoiceth greatly, because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that hath received his testimony hath said to his seal that God is true. For he whom God sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not Lord Naren White by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not on the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. Legendary John chapter 3. Now, I don't want to offer any analysis. Really, I just, you know, one, one, you know, one of the, uh, the verses that really stands out to me, well, the, all, all of them stand out to me. And John chapter 3 is just an amazing, amazing chapter. Here, John's saying, he must increase, but I must decrease. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's such a powerful verse right there. Such a powerful verse that speaks about the kingdom of God. About why Jesus says, verily, verily, of all the men born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. It is because of words just like this. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ. But that I am sent before him, he that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom which sendeth and heareth him rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. You must increase, but I must decrease. It's unclear to me if John knows that he's going to be martyred. But what is clear to me is that he is from the kingdom of God. With character that exemplifies honor, bravery, and sacrifice. John the Baptist truly is, of, of all men born of women, the greatest. There hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. And of course, Jesus says, and I have discussed this many times in the gospel, according to Lord Naren White, that he who is least in the kingdom of God is as great as he. 
emphasizing, of course, the understanding that of all men in levels two through seven, the kingdom of God is, is about God. The kingdom of God is about God. And what makes the kingdom of God heaven, heaven is that God is there. And so there are three men, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And everybody else who is worthy knows that heaven is about God. And so with that, I'll end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I worked my software developer job, I created and I created my Daily Diary video for 10, 11, 22. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.